Gospel of September 14, 2014, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lift up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have this exaltation of the cross, of the Holy Cross, and it is very convenient for us to read a little bit of what it says in the first lecture, in the first reading. It is from the book of Numbers, and it reminds us about what happened when the people of Israel in the desert started complaining against God and Moses. Why have you brought us from Egypt to die in the desert, when there is no food in the water? We are disgusted of this wretched food, and they are referring to the manna. In punishment the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. And afterwards they came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Please play the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed, and the Lord said, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if one of who have been bitten look at it, they may live. So Moses accordingly made a bronze a brosen, a brosen, a serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by the serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. Today we exult in the beauty of the cross, the sick, the sign, the symbol of love, eternal and to the extreme, until death and beyond, for you and for me. What the Lord is talking to Nicodemus about is that this is that same situation. He starts by making clear who he is. No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man, Jesus himself, and none other. Just as Moses lifted up, lift up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. We were bitten by the serpent of sin. From our forefathers, Adam and Eve, who were swayed, who were fooled by the father of lies, the serpent, and fallen into the haughtiness, into the arrogance of, of wanting to be like God. Ever since we have inherited that primordial sin. And we were doomed, we were condemned, because all of us sinned and continue to sin, and we needed to be healed. So God devised out of his pure love, he devised a way of giving us back our health. And just as Moses, ordered by God to set up the bronze serpent so that the people would look at it and be cured, so the people that rejected the Lord fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, you will look the one that has been crucified. In Him we are saved. On His cross He realized 
the absolute human obedience to the Father. And by that, he won over the entire mankind for his Father. If by the sin and disobedience of Adam, of Adam death came into the world, by the love and the obedience of Jesus, life is renewed. It's so beautiful to think about that love, to the depths of love of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that would give, just as the Lord says, God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. How can you risk your Son for anyone unless you love that one just as much as you love your Son? We are the children of God. And it became evident when our Father sent His only begotten Son to save us, to show us the way back to His house in heaven. So that everyone who believes in Jesus Christ might have, might not, might not perish, but have eternal life. It's not that we will spend our life eternal in this world. It's that we will be welcomed by our Lord in heaven, transported them, transported there by His Holy Spirit, to be ever joyful, healthy, with a glorious body. That is our true destiny. That is why God created you and me, because He wanted you and me to be with Him always. Let us rejoice, dear brothers, at this incredible love, and this unfathomable, unfathomable love, so deep that we cannot grasp it. For you and me, so true as the universe exists, let us also let our soul, our mind, our hearts set afire by the love of the Holy Spirit that we might in turn love the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and be saved by that Holy Cross that we, that we adore today. The seat, the altar of the Lamb that sacrifices himself for you and me. And through that, sets the path towards heaven. God bless you all, brothers.